Hey, what's up? I'm back in Colorado and it feels good to be home. You know, just take a little time, relax and hang out with my family and friends. here in Denver and yeah, checking it out. You're good, we just registered you. It's like, you don't think you're going the right way. My new athlete marketing manager at Red Bull, Oren, flew into Denver and we got the chance to hang out for a few days, which was super cool, you know. I met him a few times just because he worked at Mammoth in the past, but it was really nice, to, you know, to meet him as my Red Bull manager. So it was super good times hanging with him because he's just, you know, an all-around good guy. We had the opportunity of going down to a speed raceway down in Denver and ripping around in some go-karts down there. Here we go. It was pretty fun because I had Nikki, Peter, my little brother's friend Brian, and Clark all coming along for the ride. So it was awesome to have Oren take us all there and go go-karting for a few laps. This is our first race and going in for round two. Speed demon right here. <laughs> Peter put in Brian's as teeny weeny and didn't tell him. Who do you think's gonna win? Uh fastballs McGee. <laughs> Good luck. It was definitely fun just, you know, taking a breather, relaxing a little bit and changing it up. Just went crazy in the go-kart, trying to beat each other. Just looking at like where they're going, uh, Peter's definitely pretty fast, but Bobby's kind of caught up to both of them. So. Uh, just as I say that, Bobby slides out in the corner, but just because it's my fastest lap, I think I'm, I'm going to say Bobby's got it. That's what I, I was trying so hard that time, too. I was like working the corner as hard as I could. Uh, I got second, I lost my little brother. We're not very excited right now. I was working the corners hard, trying to get that first spot, but it's all good. Still fun. I actually did win the last race. But my brother, he won two out of the three races, so Peter Brown definitely taking it to him for two races, but you know, the older brother comes out on top in the end. Jeez. <laughs> nice try. You thought you won, didn't you? You won. I did. You got 20. Nice try, dude. Nice try. Dude, I'm ranked 12,000 now. <laughs> that was amazing. Especially yeah, to beat him and him. Especially to beat Brian. It feels great to beat Brian. Look at how close they are. Close. Yeah. They're like within a second. I'm a really good bronze medalist. <laughs> Both races. Third place. Dude, that was fun. We were all like yeah. battling. So that was okay. so awesome. <laughs> what happened at Teeny Wee today? Yeah. <laughs> First time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Can you please stop, Bobby? Mike, come on, do it. What up? Oh, sorry. No, he's not. Just keep it. Sorry. You're stressed. Dad, you gotta keep him under control. He's stressing. Start dancing again. No. See you, Bobby. No, I'm good. Come on, dude. You're so boring. I got two sick songs, though. Did you know that Common's playing at Red Rocks this winter? Really? Yep. Now that is some sick stuff. Next Friday. <laughs> Dude. There. What? Capsule, yeah, I, so, I can't do with cameras. Like he gets so nervous. I just, I've never, I've, I've never been good with them. Hey, Looking at it. Not, hey. <laughs> After a couple of days just hanging out at home, you know, collecting my bearings, we headed out to Washington. It was kind of a last minute trip, but we heard of the Red Bull third shift contest going on up there and they'll leave the feature up there for us to hit. Welcome to Washington. Yes, welcome to Washington. <laughs> I'm curious. They want to know who Harrison is. Oh. They want to know who I am. Uh, he's just a big filmmaker in LA. Yeah, so he's been working on a few movies, but he's 
I don't know, we like to do a lot of extreme skiing, and so he's coming out to shoot this. I don't know, he's got just got a new camera set up, so it's like kind of first time ever shooting with that. No, I think he did the new Batman movie, right? The one that's coming out? That was definitely another fun trip, you know, just rolling up to Washington, not really knowing what to expect, but just heading up to the mountain and seeing such an amazing feature. This feature looks sick, dude. Um, it's like a bar. There's like a bar under the jump, first off. Just gonna start off with that. It's got a jump shooting over the bar. It's got this banister rail to tranny. It's got wall ride to tranny. It's got this crazy kinked out rail. It's pretty much like an urban kind of feature thing in the middle of Snoqualmie Pass the Summit, and it's just insane, dude. Like, I don't know, I've never seen something like this, so it's gonna be a good time. Hey! Who's that? Oh! <laughs> Poor Niggy. <laughs> no, let's go. Oh, they're right there. Perfect. Conversation with them. Oh, hey. They were talking to me in the lift. Oh. Yeah, don't be that insecure girlfriend. <laughs> I said, go. Cool. Get out. Of where? Town. It was a really insane feature. You walked up and it was just like this town in the middle of nowhere that was all lit up with neon lights everywhere and literally you could jib the whole entire structure. You could hit the handrail, then you could hit the kinked out ledge and there was handrails everywhere and a wall ride onto the building. So it was definitely a really unique feature. Definitely really fun, nothing too crazy, but it's pretty cool having Carl Fosfett out there because he absolutely just murdered the whole thing. He did switch on, six out, switch on, switch up, you know, inward 450 out or whatever, and did some crazy stuff on the ledge too. So it's definitely cool, you know, having him out there and killing it. So it was definitely a fun little session, and uh, yeah, a really fun time in Washington. Poor Boys was up there doing a shoot, so they brought up the photographer Tim Sorensen and then of course Johnny D, just the owner of Poor Boys and the OG himself. So it's definitely cool getting a chance to hang out with those guys just because we don't always connect, you know, every single trip during the winter. You know, it was a really good time, good crew, and uh, just had a really fun time there. Also, there was a jump that was over a bar, so it was getting a little rowdy below us, but it's kind of cool just because you pop off this jump and you go over the whole entire town structure and then land in the landing. Make sure you check out the next episode of Bobby's Live. We'll be going to Team France and checking out Euro X Games.